and let's drop into a 60 minute chart. Here's that inefficiency, and here's the buy side. I said, when we were trading here, I said it's likely to draw up to take that buy side, and in any overzealous price action, it will trade into this inefficiency. I did not say it's going to go above this high. I did not say it's going to go up here. I said it would want to go into this area for the purposes of taking the buy side, but it's going to go into this right here. This is a SIBI, S-I-B-I, SIBI, sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. Hang on one second. All right, and what you want to do is you want to take a look at that and anytime you have an inefficiency, this is not quarters theory. <laughs> I have to keep doing that. I know it gets on your nerves when I do things like that, but you'd be surprised You know, if you're new here. So many people try to talk shit and say that I'm teaching something else and rebranding it, renaming it. Find quarters theory in this, okay, because it's not there. Wyckoff doesn't even know about this. This inefficiency, you grade it, okay? Consequent correction is the midpoint. The lower quadrant down here, that's what it's respecting. Yeah, we have a little mohawk right here, but look at that candle and look at that candle there. You see that? That's not fucking random. That's absolutely controlled. It's programmed. It's going to do those things in the future too, okay? If it's bearish and we anticipate price going up into that level to take out the buy stops that are resting right above that high, how far can it go past that ICT? How far can I reasonably expect it to go so that way I can place a stop loss where I can sleep at night knowing that I'm doing things with a systematic approach that's not random. I know when I'm placing my stop loss, it's based on sound logic. It's not guesswork. Okay. For me, you have to consider the fact that we could trade above consequent encroachment, which is the midpoint. It can do that. How can it do it? Just like it did here, just a little bit past it. So if you're going to go short in here, you have to allow for your stop to be where? Just above this plus another handle. So one and a half handles, two handles above consequent encroachment. If you're going to sell short here, your stop has to be at least two handles minimum, in my, in my opinion, two handles above that level right there. 